I was sitting here in my office and I had a thought and I just wanted to share it. I was thinking about how the disruption has impacted us in since the beginning of 2020, actually. And I wanted to recognize that, yes, there's some parts of it that has caused a lot of issues and a lot of problems and caused us to have to do things that we never dreamed that we'd have to do or give up things we never dreamed we'd have to give, give up. And yet, I was able to see some value that has come from the disruption. One of the values that I saw and really uh, took serious is that we have become a society that now, more than ever, respects all ages of life. Not just the young people, not just the old people, but everybody understanding that each person offers some value to our universe. Another thing that I got from the disruption is that it knocked us out of our complacency. And yes, that is good. It caused us to get out of our comfort zone and look around because nothing is the same as it was. We didn't go to work like we normally do. We didn't get up and go outside and maybe go exercise because we couldn't go to the gym. Our businesses were shut down. So it took us out of our complacency of assuming that everything would be there every day. It made us value our relationships more, our family time. We had to stay at home and we couldn't go out. So we began to understand each other a little more, maybe had a few arguments, <laughs> maybe had to negotiate some uh, middle ground someplace. But in the end, even with all of that, I saw people out on the streets playing, riding their bikes, Dads and moms were with them, maybe enjoying life more than they ever had in their hustle and bustle lifestyles. Another thing that I've learned from this disruption of 2020 is that nothing is guaranteed. We thought we would always have our jobs in corporate America and we would go to a building every day and then we were quarantine to stay at home. We thought we could go to the gym, like I said, anytime we thought we wanted to. Nothing is guaranteed. Our businesses that we had successfully positioned and felt like this is it, we finally have arrived. And all of a sudden, the bottom fell out. Nothing is guaranteed. I remember when I adopted my son, my mom said, sis, love that child, take care of him because he can be taken at any time. I just realized, again, the value of the gifts that we are given in life, the gifts of our business, the gifts of corporate job, the gift of a family, the gift of a gym to go work out in, the gift of food on our table the gift of our children. Nothing is guaranteed. Another value from the disruption is we may hug less, but I do believe we love more. And I'm a hugger and I love hugs. So this has been a real uh, eye opener for me. The first thing I wanna do is run up and hug somebody. And what I have to do now is hug from six feet. <laughs> we make kind of make something fun out of it every now and then. You know, I was at the grocery store the other day, even with the mask on, we can still see love. Um, I was at the meat counter and so was this gentleman and he had a mask on and I had a mask on and he looked at me and then I looked at him. 
And then I stepped back a little bit and I said, could I say something to you? And he said, of course. I said, I saw your smile. You see, we don't have to have the mask off for people to see the love that we bring, the love that we feel, the love that we share. I could see it in his eyes. Another value from the disruption is that the seemingly small things that really matter don't matter at all. We make them big things and they may be only small things. Oh, I forgot to bring this home or I forgot to do that. Or Johnny, you broke that glass. Doesn't matter. In the big scheme of life, just another glass. And yet, we sometimes make a mountain out of a molehill when our problems arise. We will move through this just like all other problems. We get knocked down, but we are risers. Any time in our life, you and I both, we've had things that disappointed us in life. We got knocked down for the moment, but we got back up again. Just like Dirk Bensley's song is, The Riser. We rise up and so will we as a world. And so will we as a family unit. And so will your business. And so we will rise. Maybe looking different, but we will rise because we are risers. Another point that I wanted to bring up about the value of the disruption that it has taken us on some roads less traveled. Some roads that maybe we haven't traveled previously because everything had always been there. We had never gone down these dirt, dusty roads that said you can't go out of your house. There's a, a virus that's after you. We may not have traveled down these roads. You know, my sister was telling me the other day that she and her husband went for a walk. And instead of walk, walking down the same old paved road in front of their house, they decided to take this country road. She said, sis, it was beautiful. I wonder how many sites and how many beautiful things we're missing because we didn't take the road less traveled. We just get on our habitual run every day, habitual life, running through life, doing this, doing that, and very seldom stopping to look. There are some values in this. Would I have wished it to happen this way? No. But sometimes it takes something pretty big to wake us up and to wake us up as a society and a global planet. We will never be the same. And that may be good. We'll look at ourselves different. We'll look at others different. We'll see the value of our jobs perhaps in a different way. Even change our businesses to maybe have more streams of income so we don't get caught like this again or maybe totally change our business. I, I just wanted to say this because I like to say that out of everything that happens in our life, if we can move ahead a little and look back, sometimes we can see the value. So I just wanted to bring this from my office today to you and hope that maybe It'll open a spark in your mind about something that has been valuable since the first of the year and maybe even reboot the rest of your joy for 2020. Thank you so much for um, being here with me today and I'll see you from my office next time.